Dr. Petty reinforces life-changing principles with humor for he believes audiences learn better if they enjoy what is being said. You have to do what they value, not what things like talking. See, everybody wants to be intimate, nobody talks. Can you be intimate apart from talking? No. And my gender, we're very bad about when we do talk, we really don't listen well to our spouses. How many of you men have been having a conversation with your wife? In the middle of that conversation, there suddenly is a long pause. You think, oh man, I bet I have just been asked a question. I bet if somebody wanted to buy an umpteen junior dollar house from you, you'd hear every word they said to you. You cannot, you have to talk. Well, in the time I have left, let me give you a little knowledge, a few rungs that we all need to hit on the way up the ladder. We need to say warm words. Warm words make all the difference in the world. What are the three big ones you said all the time when you were dating? I love you. <laughs> now, what are the three warmest words you hear at home? Well, do warm words make any difference? Of course they do. My Clemson boy called home last semester. He was in college. Quarter to midnight. Hey, Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> Son, I was asleep. <laughs> he said, I hate to wake you and Mom up, but I want to call and tell you, I love you. Son, are you doing drugs? <laughs> No, he said, I heard Terry Bradshaw speak today to FCA and he said, but I appreciate our parents and I just want to call and tell you and mom I love you and appreciate you. What's happening to me? Midnight, sitting on the edge of the bed, hearing one word from his boy. I'm choking up. And I've already started reaching for my checkbook. Warm words make all the difference in the world. I call your office. Somebody answers the telephone. What do you want? I don't do business with you. No, I have any choice at all. I don't do business with you. You need to make time for your family. See, nobody has time. The truth is, those of you in the real estate industry, and particularly those of you who work for this company, you are given a lot of time to use at your discretion. It's strictly how you choose to use your time. Never show up at work, what's going to happen? You won't be with us next year. And you certainly won't be getting an award. Never show up at home, what will happen? They may not be with you next year. There is no mystery to that at all. You have to make time for people you call family. You write names in on calendars. You make appointments. You do not miss birthdays, anniversaries, special occasions, piano recitals. In four years, I never missed a piano recital. Any of y'all going to piano recitals? Is that the highlight of your whole year? I don't know about you, I would go and sit and tolerate the other children. Waiting for that one fleeting moment when my prize pig was on center stage. I'm going to tell you, I used to sit there when my boy played the piano. I found it hard to believe that I paid money for that. <laughs> you have to make time. You don't have it. You have to make it. And you tell everyone else, no. 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 There are things we cannot control. It just happens. September 10, I fly Raleigh, New York, Lake Placid to speak to the New York Bankers Association. September 11, I am scheduled Lake Placid, New York, Raleigh. There but for the grace of God. By the way, how many of y'all have flown since September 11? Isn't that a nightmare? Now, I know how to save this nation tens of millions of dollars. I really can. I personally think we ought to do away with all airport security. Every bit. Make everybody fly naked.
Well, then you very quickly could see who's got what. <laughs> I discovered you generally get back about what you put in. How many of y'all believe there are no free lunches at work or at home? So you've got to pay the price to be good. To be successful, you have to pay the price. Let me show you how it works at home. Could I assume that most of you men are romanticists? <laughs> Stretch your minds this morning. <laughs> Could I assume that on many occasions you men will buy your wives special things like Valentine Day cards? The answer is yes. <laughs> See, how long does it take a man to pick out a Valentine's Day card for his wife? 30 seconds tops. How long does it take a woman to pick out a Valentine's Day card? Two hours minimum. <laughs> Gentlemen, if you were picking out a card for someone who controlled 50% of your assets, how long would you spend picking out that card? What does a divorce cost in Indiana? <laughs> your spouse is your biggest and best client, and you better treat them that way. Two other wrongs very quickly, balance off relationships and things. Those of you who sell, don't you like to have relations where they keep coming back to you and coming back to you and coming back? Don't you love it when they recommend their friends to you? That's how you stay alive, that's how you thrive on relationships. Relationships are more important than things, right or wrong. What do we drop dead trying to get more of? What do we argue about at home? What do we miss special events over? Isn't it interesting? Little things, big things. How many of you know someone who has a living room in which no one can live? <laughs> Take a nap on that sofa, you'll never wake up. <laughs> who left the light on? Now, how much electricity can one bub burn? Now, I know some of you know you've run the numbers on it. <laughs> See, for nickels and dimes, we fight over where the tissue rolls over from the top or under from the bottom. What difference does it make which way it rolls? Engineer told me. Said it's 6% less friction. <laughs> Save that marriage for less than 10 bucks. Go home, knock another hole in the sheetrock, put two dispensers in every bathroom. <laughs> the things are important, sure. Not more important than people. My wife gives to each one of our daughters-in-law one day of child care a week. That is our gift to our son's marriages. So two days a week we hear squealing tires out in the cul-de-sac. We look up and a little grandchild is rolling down the driveway. <laughs> now, if I'm not out speaking somewhere, I basically spend a good part of that day playing with my grandchildren. Not long ago, I spent four hours having lunch at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> now, is that a lost day for me? Does it cost me money? Probably big bucks. But money cannot buy the looks on their faces when they see me. Isn't it a strange irony? We spend a lifetime accumulating more and more, only to die and leave it to people we've ignored all their lives. Strange irony. Not long ago, it was Caleb's turn to be in our house, the three-year-old. In the afternoon, he wants cereal for a snack. I give him Raisin Bran, good, healthy cereal. <laughs> he wants milk on his cereal. I go to the freezer and get out the vanilla ice cream. I put a huge dip of ice cream on top of his raisin bran. My wife said to me, have you lost your mind? And I asked Jamie, what is ice cream? Frozen milk. Six o'clock in the evening, his mother and father drove up in our driveway. Caleb ran over to the sunroom, looked out the window and saw it was his mother and dad. Ran back across the room, grabbed me around the legs, looked up at me and said, please, don't let them take me home. Now that's what family's all about, that's what this company's all about, that's what your relationship to your clients, that's what it's all about. Please don't make me go somewhere else. I learned the hard way the importance of family. When I was six years old, my parents divorced. Totally unheard of in our little town. Created a scandal. My father committed adultery and blew our family sky high. Adultery is not all fun and games for those who get left behind as I did as a six-year-old boy. Three years later, my mother died, cancer of the pancreas. Bad way to die then, bad way to die now. 
My father remarried, so I'm now living in a blended family. When I was in the 10th grade, my father and 13-year-old brother left Arkansas to go to Iowa on a business trip. Never came home. Car wreck. I'm an orphan. 10th grade, I lived by myself. Came home to empty house every night of my life. I learned early in life, you cook, you eat, you don't, you don't. Next year, I became a foster child. What did I learn about family? What did the World Trade Center people learn? Family can come and go very quickly. And if you don't make your family a high priority, who will? You don't make it a high priority today, you may not have a tomorrow. I close. My wife was home one day, doorbell rang. Little five-year-old neighborhood girl with her three-year-old brother. Little girl said, hi, Mrs. Petty, we're playing house. We're pretending we're married. My husband and I are out visiting our neighbors. May we come in and visit with you? Well, Jamie was captivated. Well, of course, please come in. Southern people are polite. By the way, you northern people need to know something. Just because southern people are polite, that is no sign we mean it. When we say, y'all come see us, don't. Jamie put him on the sofa. Y'all asked me freshman. They did. Cook his lemonade. Said this little three-year-old boy gupped his lemonade down. Would you like a second glass? Did. Gupped his lemonade down. Would you like a third glass? Little girl said, no, we really have to be going now. My husband just wet his pants. <laughs> well, we had to be going now for a number of reasons. Primarily, my time is up. Bottom line, don't play at your jobs. People in real estate, your job is to help my dreams come true. That's all you people are. Dream makers. Don't play at that. My dreams are too important for you to play with. Don't play at your family. Family is too important to play with. But climb the ladder of success. You bet climb fast, climb far, climb high. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being successful. That is good. But perhaps the greatest proof of your love for your family will be when you get to that last rung in your career, wherever it is for you, whatever that means, you will turn and your family will be right there beside you. Climb fast, climb far, climb high. Just take them with you. You will be glad. They will be glad. This company will be glad. Well, I wish for all of us today good climbing. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much.